Hello. As you see, we're looking at a pair of ducks. And there's a reason we're looking at those ducks, but I'll get to that in a moment. Um, I think the main thing I want to talk about right now is the way you... I don't know if you know the situation where you find yourself looking at something that you've seen for years and years and years that you feel you're aware of, and suddenly, due to circumstances, you realize that thing that was so ordinary that you barely noticed it suddenly becomes something much more intricate, much more complex, much more fascinating. And that's the case with these ducks. So, first of all, I have to explain. This, where I'm sitting, is one of my escape spots. As you know, I have many. And this is one that I suppose... There is a kind of back and forth over who could be, who can be here, who can sit here. And it has to do, like, you've got these ducks, and the ducks see it as their own. So if you sit on this place, it's basically um, a sort of drain cover I'm sitting on. Then the ducks come and they quack and da-da-da, and they, they try to get you to go away, or they hope you're going to give them some food. Now, in this case, I, am, I had no plans. I have no plans to go away. And I, I don't feed ducks as such. It's not wickedness, but we're not allowed to feed the ducks in Amsterdam, officially. So, you have these ducks, and I'm sitting here, they're quacking, and I I don't know why, I just start looking at them. So they come up, these two um, that you see, they came out of the water. They first came a bit closer to where I was. Then they moved back, and they began to groom themselves. <laughs> and I started looking at it. And the more I looked at what they were doing, the stranger these ducks became. And not in some weird uh, psychedelic way, but just simply how ducks are. You know, I always think of ducks quacking and swimming, uh, rubber ducks, nice and cute. And they're very sort of one-dimensional. I mean, you, you, of course, you've got Daffy Duck, uh, Donald Duck, certain cartoon ducks. But they're not really... I never sort of see them as creatures. And this is one of these things that... Uh, as, as a child, I, I'd often sort of, in the garden, you'd pick up a stone or a rock and you'd have all these insects and things crawling around and I'd stare for ages and everything looked fascinating. And then, of course, this, this period of fascination with everything disappears as you get on with life. And now I'm staring at these ducks and looking at the way they bend, the way they twist, even the way the eyes, they, there's this way the eyes just go white when they turn upside down and dig at feathers. I don't even know what they're doing, but I know it's kind of a grooming session, that much I can say. They seem to be a couple. I can't tell you if I've seen this pair before, but uh, here they are together. Grooming away, doing all kinds of things, and I think it's just worth looking at, so I'm going to shut up in a bit. The only thing that I'd like you, it's, it's kind of a long video of, um, well, long eight-ish minutes, eight, nine minutes. It's kind of a long video, but one of the things you you worth waiting for, this is at least my interpretation, is I'm sitting here and I'm sort of filming these ducks. It's an accident. I just happen to have my gear with me. So I'm filming these ducks. And at around the 8 minute 30 second point, the lady duck suddenly makes a move as if she's saying, okay, you've had all the time, you've had all the attention, it's my time now. And she comes around and puts her positions herself between the other duck and my camera which I find an interesting thing. Of course, it could be sheer coincidence, but it honestly, at that particular moment, I was so convinced she understood that somebody's getting attention and she was in the background and she had every right to come into the foreground. And who am I to disagree? So please watch on. Uh, just look at the ducks. They're, they're really bizarre. And um, if you can see it on a big screen, even better, because they're just... Just, it's just fascinating to watch. I never saw ducks in this light. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, I hope you have learned something about duck movements and duck behavior. Of course, I'm not a, a, a natural scientist. I'm just a person with eyes who looks at things and comes to certain conclusions. Always non-scientifically based conclusions, just personal opinions and stuff. So look at the ducks, enjoy them, and uh, yeah, see you next time.